Okay, so we're going to work on the cubic. Uh, we can see that you've got the x-intercept is now in here. So that's why we're going to use the general formula of y equal k, open bracket, x minus a, x minus b, and x minus c, where a, b, and c are the x-intercepts. So the x-intercepts here are negative 5, negative 2, and 3. So we're going to write that here, y equal k, x plus 5, because negative negative is positive, x plus 2, and x minus 3. Now we need to find the k value, so we need to use another point that the graph passed through. And we're lucky enough, we've got this point here, which is 0, negative 6. So that's why we're going to substitute this point instead of x and y in this equation to find the k value. So negative 6 equals k, 0 plus 5, 0 plus 2, and 0 minus 3. So negative 6 equal, and 5 times 2 is 10, 10 times negative 3 is negative 30. So k is equal negative 6 over negative 30. So k is equal to 1 out of 5. So your equation is 1 out of 5, open a bracket, x plus 5 plus bracket, x plus 2, and x minus 3. Now sometimes you have two x-intercepts, so one is repeated. Um, we're going to do that in the next slides. Now, next type, if we have the x-intercept, we've got two known, but the third one, we kind of estimate. So we don't want to like to estimate. So that's why we're going to use another point, another method, which is called the four points known. So we're going to determine four points in this curve here. So the first point is this one here, which is, so we're going to write the points are on the side here which is 4, no, 0, 4. Uh, the next point also now on is this one here, which is 1, 4. Now, the another point is now on in this one here, which is negative 1, 8. And uh, we need one more point, which is this one. Is this one a point? Yeah. Mm. We can use this point here because it's negative 1.5, because it's exactly on that point line here. And it's 6, so we're going to use negative 1.5. And six. Now we're going to use the calculator to find the equation for that using the um, stats mode. So it's exactly the same as before what we've done in the parabola. So you go to stats. I'm just going to write the steps in here. So you go to stats. Then you're going to go to and then you're going to write your equations. So your points in x list one list two. So that's list one, and that's list two. So list one is zero, one, negative one, negative one point five, and list two is four, four, eight, and six. Okay, so we've got four points. Then you also need to go to set, uh, which is an F6, just to check that it's the scatter and X is list one and X is list two. And then from there, you're going to press graph one. Always write it as an H, so it's graph one, which is an F1. And then you press calc which is also F1. And then in calc, we're going to press X to the power of 3 because we want cubic, and it is in F5. 
and it give you the equation give you a b c and d values and to write the general formula of the equation is that a x to the power of 3 plus b x to the power of 2 plus c x to the power of uh, sorry 1 and plus d so now we're going to substitute the values of a b and c as is given so your equation will be y equal a is 0 0.03 x to the power of 3 plus b is negative which is will be minus in here because it's negative 0 0.17 x squared plus negative as well negative 1 point c is 1.43 x and d is positive 5.18 so that's your equation um, just remember that's a negative and that's a negative in here that's a one okay thank you oh okay this is another cubic um, equations when it is two x intercept is given so you've got this one in here and the other one is this way here but you can tell it's cubic from the shape so in this case that's mean one of the x intercepts are repeated now how would you know which one is repeated is the one where which is a vertex of a parabola as well so you can tell this one here repeated because it's a vertex of a parabola but this one is not a vertex of any parabola so that's why we're going to write this equation as y equal k x it's positive 5 so it's minus 5 square and x minus 7 now we're going to find another another point that pass through the equation and find the k value and the point that we will use is this one here which is 4 negative 3 so we're going to substitute negative 3 in the y k 4 minus 5 square and 4 minus 7 so negative 3 equal 4 minus 5 is negative 1 square is 1 times 4 minus 7 is um, negative 3 so negative 3k so from here k is equal to 1 so y equal your equation is x minus 5 all square and x minus 7 that's your equation